Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. Hi guys, welcome to the course Network Fundamentals. This is your uh, instructor Manjeet. In this section, we'll discuss at length about uh, layer 2 networks, switching, um, various concepts of switching, collision domains, broadcast domains, segregation of uh, network into VLANs. So um, we are going to cover all these uh, items. So um, I'm using the term L2 networks and switching together as uh, switching is part of layer 2 data link layer only. So before we start, let's uh, recap the OSI model and talk about the functions of uh, data link layer again. Uh, so if you remember the layer 2 services provided by data link layer are uh, reliable delivery, flow control, encapsulation and uh, decapsulation of network packets into frames, error detection and correction, uh, media access and the physical addressing which is also called the MAC addressing. So MAC addressing is part of the data link layer only. So it is very important to understand the concept of encapsulation and uh, decapsulation that forms uh, that forms an important part of the data link layer. So as we have already discussed layer 2 uses uh, frames as data units. So wherein the packets received from the network layer are encapsulated into uh, into the frames that also includes the addition of uh, source and destination MAC addresses. So if we talk about the flow from source to source to destination at the source end, layer 3 packets will be encapsulated and the source and destination MAC address will be added. And when the frame will reach the destination at the destination end, the data link at the data link layer decapsulation will be happening wherein the source and destination MAC address will be stripped off and then it will be handed over to network layer for further routing and forwarding. So actually this encapsulation and decapsulation will be happening uh, at each device that is there in the path depending upon the type of device not just not just at the source and uh, destination end. So uh, apart from that, there is another important concept that we need to understand, uh, which is part of the layer two. The data link layer is uh, further uh, divided into two sub layers. So these two sub layers are uh, LLC and MAC. So LLC is logical link control and MAC is media access control. So the function of logical link control sublayer is to communicate uh, and interface with the upper level layers uh, of the OSI model. And the purpose of MAC sublayer is to control the media access for, uh, uh, for the network. So it is decided and controlled and governed by MAC sublayer how, who, um, is, how and who is going to access the media at what time. So uh, that will be governed by MAC sublayer. There is another important protocol part of the MAC sublayer that is CSMA CD. Uh, CSMA CD is carrier sense, uh, uh, carrier sense multiple access and collision detection, which is used for uh, collision detection and prevention. So um, um, you'll be able to understand CSMA CD better once you are uh, familiar with the terms like collision, collision domain, broadcast, broadcast domain. Once you have the clear understanding of these concepts, then it will be very easy for you to understand the um, CSMA CD, how it works. So uh, now let's move further and discuss about the MAC addressing. Uh, MAC addressing is part of the data link layer. It is also called physical addressing. MAC address is uh, 42, 48 bit in length or we can say 12 hexadecimal digits. The first 24 bits are uh, reserved for the man manufacturer or the vendor who is uh, making those uh, network interface cards. Uh, now where is this MAC address assigned? Uh, it's not the computer system itself. It's the network comp component of the system that is network interface card. This is the same card where you connect the network cable or LAN cable. Coming back to the MAC address format, first 24 bits are uh, administered by IEEE and those bits are used to identify the manufacturer or the vendor who is uh, manufacturing those network interface cards. Now the remaining 24 bits are used to identify the network interface card itself, NIC card itself. First, 20, uh, first 24 bits are uh, 
called uh, organizational unique identifier OUI and the remaining 24 bits or oh, those are assigned by vendor or manufacturer to identify the card itself the NIC card itself so uh, now you if you look at the picture on the screen network interface card is there um, to just show you how it physically uh, looks like so you might have already seen this network interface card I just included for the reference purpose to show you how the NIC look like and this is the same interface card where it, uh, uh, which will be uh, which will be inserted into your computer system and then you can connect the LAN cable to this uh, network interface card to access the network okay so now uh, the question arises okay the question is uh, raised by my friend um, she is asking what is the need of MAC addressing so the answer is simple let's assume that you have a LAN network and there are 10 computer systems but uh, none of the computer system um, has any MAC address assigned on it now you don't have any MAC address assigned to any of the computer system how would you identify the system in the network it will be a situation wherein uh, all the computers uh, they don't have any identity they don't have any name so it's, it's like it's like a situation where nameless computers are there and uh, you are not being able to identify the specific computer in on the connected on the network so uh, we already talked about mac address that it is a hard coded unique id of your network interface card so it's a unique id that ident identifies the computer system in the layer 2 network so layer 2 is all about the mac addressing so layer 2 uh, identifies uh, any device or uh, computer system in the network by their MAC address okay okay so now uh, there is a another question raised by my friend that okay fine um, we understand the requirement of MAC addresses MAC addresses are there then what is the need of IP addressing when MAC addressing is already there then why do we need IP addressing uh, so I think you can understand better this with the with with an example so uh, mac address is more like your uh, name your physical identity but ip address are um, ip addresses are more like your house address street number so if somebody needs to send some post to you they can't just send with your name there will be n number of people with the with the same name but if you have house number and the street uh, address given along with the name then it will be specifically delivered to you it will be easy to identify your location so the mac address is like your name and ip address is like your uh, house address okay thank god she's happy now so she's happy now and we'll uh, conclude the session here so in this session we covered what is the mac addressing um, the what are the different functions of uh, data link layer the sub layers of data link layer logical link control and mac sub layer the media access control so uh, in the next section we'll talk about the uh, topics like uh, collision domain we'll talk about the segmentation of networks into vlans and we'll also discuss how the switch uh, works at layer 2 Thanks guys for watching this video. Hope this uh, session was informative for you. See you in the next video. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.